Uh, good day, comrade subscribers. Let's, uh, let's see if we can do some repairs on this fellow. So the first thing we can do is probably get rid of this ferrite core here um, for the RF modulator. Yet another, another. Um, yeah, we've got a nut and bolt here. So uh, another one using uh, bloody Loctite glue red glue to um, stop you being able to move it. Well, that just means that the uh, bolts, nuts just spinning freely. Okay, there we go. So we get that one off first. go so a bit of cardboard and yeah anyway probably take the cable out no longer needed so as you can see it comes out of this box here where the piezo speaker wires hanging free and then it goes through to the other side it's been chopped off right here so doesn't look like too much effort to take this box off, this metal shield off, and then I could probably totally remove that cable, or I could probably just snip it there, to be honest. I prefer to take the box off, and but I'll just maybe I'll just snip it there, and for now, well, oh, just tiny little bit of cable. That was all of it. There we go. So next, let's fix up these ceramic capacitors at the front here that have been smashed. So these are the two main culprits. And I notice that there's a pair of legs here just standing. So it's like another one's been snipped off. I don't see anything else obvious. Any other obvious damage. So I'll replace those and then... Um, I'll look at seeing what I can do about making a, where's the, uh, there we go, this is the, this is the RGB out, so using these pins here, see if I can make a quick RGB out cable, and see if we can power, power this fellow up, um, yep, yeah, so capacitors first, alright, the first one's been removed without too much effort, just so you can see, that's what it's, uh, so yeah, not the best. Apparently 100 nanofarads, I think. So I'll replace that with 100 nano. So that's one off. Get those legs out. So there is actually space pretty much for decoupling capacitors on every chip. But like on a lot of other, well having said that, we do have decoupling capacitors down this end as well, so I don't know why. So this is the one I just removed from here, and we have yet another one just here. Uh, <laughs> it seems excessive, when normally what they do is, as you can see, the holes here, they would only have one every second, every second one. But they've got one, I don't know. They were there, so I will put them back in. All right, continue. Getting there, getting there. So what have I done? So I've replaced those three. There's some modern little MLCC 100 nanofarad. I don't, I'm not, I'm not a fan of these. Um, these can't be removed. So it would be nice just to maybe replace these with normal two by whatever headers. So you can unplug the ribbon cable and separate these two. I know it's it'll probably be Soviet 2.5 mil spacing rather than imperialist um, 0.1 mil, uh, 0.1 inch, 0.1 inch, 0.1. Uh, well, yeah, 2.54 millimeters. Anyway, worry about that later. So next, I'll um, see if I can. Make up an RGB cable, so I'm gonna to have to find out what the. Um, well, I'm, <laughs> actually, I'm hoping these <laughs> relate to these. 
Maybe they don't. Maybe I'm going to have to... Oh, no, they do. They do. They kind of go down there. All right. Let's see. Okay. So here is... This is from the documentation, which I have to admit is much better than the Soviet shit I've seen. This is, uh, yeah, <laughs> much higher, much more professional looking. Anyway, so that's the cassette. And on one of the forums, this is the uh, pinout for, apparently for VGA. So we have uh, red, green, blue, and then we have the uh, grounds. And then to get the V-Sync and the H-Sync for VGA, you need to blah, 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 whatever. Okay, but we're not interested in VGA. I just want plain RGB. So this is the edge connector. Um, this is the edge connector there. And that's how it is in the computer. So I'm assuming... That this is the upside. As you can see things were plugged into it. So, what we want is we want uh, rot, grün, and blau. And then I think this is composite composite video. F bass is the composite video. So from that, um, we sh we can get the sync. And then obviously the masse, uh, which is the ground. So, brush. Um, and audio, audio output as well, okay. So we want eight, uh, 4, 6 and 8B and then 10A and then pick up ground from somewhere. So I think the Bs are on this side and the As are on the underneath. I think that's pretty much the general, that's the general way it goes. There was it. But it's the picture. There we go. Yeah, okay, so B's on the upper side, A's on the underside. So if we're looking at it that way, um, we start from here, which makes sense. One and two, we can just very, very faintly make out, I've already zoomed in, um, that there was a connection there, but you can see there's nothing there, so not connected, so that's good. Um, okay, three. Three looks like it's ground. So we can pick up a ground there, through that via perhaps. And then we want, and then we want four, six, eight. Okay, so, oh, because we've got ground in between. So we've got uh, Blau, Blau, Masa, uh, Grun, Grun, Masa, and Rot, and Rot, Masa. So then we just need F bass, which is on underneath, to get the sync. So what I'll do, because I'm going to use my GBS 8200 as usual, let me grab a cable. So get one of these cables, GBS 8200 cables. Let's buy them in bulk from AliExpress. What I really should do on the GBS 8200, which is all connected up here, let me. Disconnect everything. Disconnect that. Disconnect the VGA. Bulle, bulle. All right. So what? What I know, I know, I know, I know. I should get one of the. I should convert this to the. Is it control? GBS control or something? Yeah. Uh, but it works. It's simple. I've just put it on a perspex plate. So that's that's the connector there I use, and these these are the ones I get from AliExpress. So they just plug in straight like that, nice and simple. RGB with sync and ground. So, but what I really should do is just do this, and then stick a five pin DIN on DIN socket here, and then just make everything plug into a DIN rather than making up these cables all the time. But whatever, whatever. So, this is just going to be experimental. I'm not going to make up a proper cable. So I'm just going to, I think, solder into the wires. I think that would be the easiest way to do it. So pretty much everything. So white is sync. So these will go through on the top. 
Actually, can I do the vise? What's on the bottom? You have to have a look. Which one was F bass? F bass on Dasa. On Dala. Number 10, A10. Ux cucks, corn and milia. So it's four from the left here. Yeah? Ux cucks, corn and milia. Yeah, number 10. This is why I want to replace these ribbon cables because you can't disconnect. I, I don't like. Yeah, anyway, whatever. So from. Yeah. Ux cucks, corn and milia. Okay, so that one should be F bass. Mm, what the, oh, oh. Mm. So, where is it? Kolma Toyster, Kux Toyster, Ux Toyster, uh, Cuminin. A10. But, Kolma Toyster, Kux Toyster, Ux Toyster. Oh, okay, yep, yeah, alright, that's alright. Okay, so I can actually connect to it on this side as well. So that's F bass there. Okay, makes sense. Am I, have I, is everyone caught up? Right. Blau on Nelia. So, oops, cucks, call me Nelia. Oh, this, tell me. This one? Nelia. Yeah, sit down. This is so ground. And then this one is grun and ground. And then this one is uh, rot. And then ground. And then this one is sink. So I can do everything on this side. Let's give it a try. All right, so I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do this. And actually, these three resistors here, which I'm guessing are maybe 75 ohm, I don't know. That appears to be the RGB, RGB signals here. So we've got these cuts called So we've got number four here, which is the rots. Oh, blau. So we've got blue. Uh, blue going to this one here. And then the next one, which is the rots. Oh no, uh, grun. So green going to there. Yes, uh, then rots. Uh, rots, which squeezes through here, goes along up to here, up to here. All right, so this is our RGB here that we can pick up. And then we just need sync. Sync, which actually we could probably pick up there. Oh, I'm just going to pick it up there. Sync and ground. Okay. <laughs> Enough talking, Brett more doing just very basically tacked on the rgb ground and uh well i think composite output so the sink so we will uh, which one was i doing this one hook up a power supply hook this up to the gbs 8200 and <laughs> see if it works i'm i'm assuming it doesn't um because well um, as well, let's assume it doesn't and we'll see what happens. Okay. So, RGB cable's done. Here's the original power supply. Plus 12 volts, plus minus 5 volts. With the 12 volt, original 12 volt regulator. So, uh, Slovakian, I think. Tesla, uh, 12 volt regulator, 7812. So, it's an MA7812, but yeah. So I was going to replace that because it's a pretty beefy heat sink. So it must generate a bit of heat. So I can replace that with a modern one, but not for now. So I need to reconnect the cable. I've disconnected the cable so I could get it um, because it was going through the back panel. So I just need to solder the cable back on nice and dodgy. Nice and dodgy like. So I think I did take a photo. Okay. So the, oops. So the um, the fuse has got four. So I'm guessing one of them went there, and one of them went there. I guess, but I'll have a look at the photo. 
hook it up and see what happens. All set to set to go. So I've uh, reconnected the AC cable very dodgily. <laughs> and then we've got the three voltages going to the board. And then I've got my RGB cable just loosely connected up to the GBS8200 to maybe give some output. Let's power see. Is on. DC power is on. Screen. What? Hey! No, no. Vittu tietokone on on toimi. Vittu. Milloin. No, no. There we go. It's working. So we've got uh, HC, whatever that stands for, Chaos, uh, connect, uh, Cassette Assisted Operating System, uh, 3.1, Colin Pista Ux. So I think 4.2 is the latest, so I can maybe replace the ROMs. But she's working. I'm surprised. Wow. I'm, um, I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm very happy. Awesome. So now <laughs> I just got to get the keyboard back together and see if that works and try loading some software via cassette and um, see if I can upgrade the uh, the firmware. But it's um, it's working. Wow. All right. So these are the, the these are the chaos commands available apparently. Um, so it's not basic, but these are the chaos commands for the uh, cassette assisted operating system. And so one of them obviously is you can go into basic. So um, yeah, wow! I'm I'm oh, I'm really happy. I'm looking forward to it now. <laughs> now I've just got to get this thing back together. Uh, no pressure. Um, unfortunately, I won't be able to do any more this week. It's Sunday night, and I'm down in Sydney for uh, three nights. So I'll be back on Thursday. So maybe f Thursday night, Friday, I'll be able to do some more. But um, yeah, hopefully that's um, that's positive. All right, uh, we're having roast uh, roast beef for dinner. Nice uh, English roast dinner. So I'll be off to do that soon. Okay, hopefully this was of some interest. And um, yeah, talk to you later.